Well, buyers, here we are now, just entering a little property down at Monto, a place by the name of Clonmel. We'll take you through and show you over the property and go over the homestead. The homestead on Clonmel is a six bedroom homestead and uh, with a quite a good size open plan living area with uh, a new modern kitchen and um, lounge and dining room coming off the, uh, the kitchen area with a, a very useful um, wood heater in the middle of the room. There's the garage and then just poking around the garage we at the back of the garage there's a, a how big is that coal room again? I think it's about, uh, 20, 20 by 10 foot. It's a 20, 20 foot by 10 foot um, coal room and then looking over there is the uh, machinery shed and hay shed the property an old dairy just there an old uh, look, having a look quick shed. look there's the homestead there and the, the uh, shed just behind us here and then coming back down looking down across that flat where you see those cattle down there buyers that's around about just outside there is where the boundary is and then we're just looking here on Pine Mountain too there's a, a uh, is that a two bedroom? Yeah. two bedroom cottage nice quaint little setup and uh, very handy for a married couple working on the prize. Just another bit of a look at the flats here. And if you look at that hill in the distance over there, at the top of there, that's the boundary of the block. And um, we're just heading down the road now to the yards. This is typical of the, of the uh, country type on Clonmel. And um, the trees, timber, basically you've got uh, narrowly fine bark, broadly fine bark, uh, bloodwood. Uh, blue gum and uh, a mixture of uh, a few other trees plus apple and uh, as you can see good quality soft flats and it is good soft country very good breeder country now this will just show you as I said it's it's low undulating country running back into some hills at the background the majority of the place is just low undulating running down onto good creek flats and uh, intercepted with uh, permanent and semi-permanent creeks just up on that ridge there is the cattle yards and we'll head on up there in a moment and just have a look at those on Clon Mall buyers there's two sets of yards this is the the bigger set of yards at the house uh, just back up the back behind the house and um, they're an older set of yards but very good solid yards well built timber yards with some steel uh, panelling uh, and also too with steel steel and timber gates throughout the, the, the yards but a very useful set of yards the, the vendor here at Clonmel he basically buys and sells cattle and so there he's backgrounding all the time and working through with cattle so consequently the yards are set up for anything cross branding uh, working on cattle and bringing them up ready to go out into the paddock. Just another bit of a shot of that the cattle yard just to show you the condition of what they're in they're a good set of good stable strong cattle yards and some of the work there's been new work done in them um, good receiving yards. We'll go up and have a look at another set of yards. Just a quick shot here of the homestead complex buyers. There's a little cottage there and looking back across to the main homestead and the sheds and everything in the background. Once again it's typical of this country that uh, hill that reigns in the background top of that's uh, the boundary and also part of it's in, in the place and then as you can see these beautiful long flats running back up into the up towards those ridges and uh, coming back across to this low undulating country in here which has been pulled recently and um, the vendor has been keeping right on top of any of that uh, country getting away so there you have it boys good tidy sweet country warm country feed down on the flats through the day and get back up into the warm ridges at night once again buyers, just giving you a look a good little flat there, running back as you can see that low undulating country there, ridges in the background, and then we come around and come back onto once again a little low ridge here, and back on the other side again running back down into more uh, flats and running creeks. Basically it's a good cross section. Well, I was just having a, a quick look here 
of um, once again we're on the other side of where we were just a moment ago when I filmed that other flat looking back up into the bit of a ridge there and once again going back down into a pocket here good uh, flats running back up into the low undulating country and then as you can see just in the back there the, the boundary are back in that bit of a ridge just in behind. As I said boys uh, these creeks that are uh, running along the edge of these flats um, they're either spring fed and permanent or semi-permanent and good quality creek flats and creeks well, plenty of water in the creek so another another good uh, permanent creek back over near the ha homestead as well uh, buyers uh, up the back end of that flat there and up over the top of that ridge just there that's the, the top end boundary of the property and as I said earlier there's two sets of yards in this place this is the other set up the top end of the place the vendor just uses it basically to handle the cattle up this end save taking them back down to the homestead and um, just work the cattle up this top end uh, before they migrate their way back down to the to the house and uh, by the time they get down that end that's when they're ready to turn off and go to market. Windy here boys so I won't spend a lot of time here but this is looking at the front of the homestead and we'll go in now and and uh, have a look inside. Looking down from the front of the homestead back down to the front grid where we come in at the start. Here we are boys we're in the home now inside this is the uh, as you can see quite a a good modern kitchen here, all the mod cons, centre console and um, timber floor and then looking back around at the dining room and then going back down into the living area. Good roomy area, plenty of light and very comfortable and a wood heater for those winter nights right here in the middle of the room which keeps the room absolutely beautiful and warm. Just on the back veranda here and there's a, a lower area down there for barbecues and all that sort of thing. In through here of course we've got a, a laundry and another toilet. back onto the veranda. Good size veranda. And on the end there's a guest room. Six bedrooms in the in the homestead. This is the master bedroom. There's no ensuite for the master bedroom but it's a good size room as you can see and all built-ins. Now there's built-ins in four of the bedrooms and two of the bedrooms have not got built-ins. One is actually being used as an office. This is the, uh, the room for the baby. Once again, a good sized room, and as you can see, there's built in there carpet floor. As I said before, buyers, one of the rooms is being used as an office, and um, it's, once again, it's a good sized room being used as an office here. There's two bathrooms in the homestead and uh, this is the main bathroom and as you can see beautifully tiled and beautifully finished and um, good sized mirror, hand basin and a nice easy to walk into shower. Tiles right up well above the shower height and a good size good deep bath. So there you have it boys, Clonmel homestead and looking out over Clonmel the property itself, looking back down from the homestead down to the front gate or grid where we come in, 3,300 odd acres, well worth the visit, it's very good sweet country, close to Monto, close to sale yards in Rockhampton and also uh, sale yards and, and put, uh, meat works at Billawila and the feedlotters to the south. Give me a call, I'd love to bring you down and show you over Clonmel.